are some who believe we are not alone in the universe. That somewhere out there, other life forms exist. And that there are loads of them. Covered in slime, with eyes on stalks, and vicious teeth. They're in your garden, emerging, slowly, very, very slowly. They are... They are... <gasps> Slugs! No doubt your first reaction is to think how best to rid yourself of this nasty threat to your garden. But think again. These ones are leopard slugs. They won't abduct you or take over the planet or even worse, attack your prize cabbages. Unlike the other types of slugs that will indeed abduct you, will take over the planet and will devour your cabbages. Well, one of those anyway. No, the rather magnificent leopard slug is here to give you a helping hand. Or foot, or... Well, something helpful, anyway. Oh, oui, oui. That is right. No need to worry your funny English head. I am not interested in the big juicy leaves. No, I mean, no, no. I have my eyes on those delicious decomposing leaves. Oh, oh, mm, oh, oh, c'est magnifique. <laughs> That's right. This seven-inch whopper will clean up your garden and live for up to four years. That's twice as long as many of your blue tits. Eh? You are? But tonight, there's something other than decomposing plant matter on the slug's mind. That's right. Tonight I am following this naughty little slime trail and it's got me in the mood for love. Yes, slugs flirt through their slime. And since they're hermaphrodites, with both male and female sexual organs, they're twice as likely to get noticed. Yeah, baby! My eyes were on stalks as soon as I saw him! I mean, her. Or it. Oh, you know what I mean. Moments later, a little nip signals their intentions. What happens next has to be seen to be believed. Together, the two slugs climb up to a high branch and begin their incredible mating ritual. Working together, our lovers form a rope of slime, down which they descend, bodies entwined. The reason for this high wire romance soon becomes apparent. Being hermaphrodite, both slugs are endowed with male sex organs, which extend from just behind their heads. These grow to almost twice their body length, so plenty of space is needed below for the pair to mate unhindered. As mating continues, the sex organs perform an elaborate shape-shifting dance in which sperm is passed between the slugs. Incredibly, this beautiful display isn't happening in some galaxy far, far away. But right here, every summer, in our very own back gardens. Their courtship over, the two slugs take the shortest route back to the ground. And before the break of dawn, hurry off in different directions to lay the eggs that have just been fertilised. Well, there you have it. Now you know a bit more about the magnificent leopard slug, there's no need to resort to such extreme measures. Put your poison back in the cupboard and be a bit more selective about the so-called pests you control. Or just leave pest control to the experts. These slime balls will provide a tasty feast for a whole manner of garden beasts. Four-year lifespan. We'll see about that, won't we? 
So don't lump the leopard slug in with the cabbage munchers. Remember, these magnificent mollusks help to keep your garden healthy. And the moral of this tale? Don't judge a slug by its slime. <laughs>